Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you five different ways to activate Windows 10, assuming you have a valid license. We can uh, help you if you don't have a valid license, if you got your copy of Windows from somewhere else. Don't get me wrong, we've all done jail time, but we're just not willing to do it for this. So, keep in mind, Windows 10 is cool. You don't really need a product key. You basically can use it, you just can't personalize it. Also, many computers now include a product key built into the BIOS, so unless you change a lot of hardware, that product key isn't a key like we're used to on a DVD or on the side of your computer, it's built into the computer. So let's talk about a few different ways you can do it. First off, just to get it out of the way, obviously the best time to enter your product keys during the Windows 10 setup. But again, remember if it's in your BIOS or UEFI, that you don't really have a key to put in, you just do it. So let's look at settings. If you click start, which is probably where you're at, settings, and you scroll down right here at the bottom, I'm activated, it will say right here that Windows isn't activated. If you click that link, you can go through the steps to attempt to activate it. As mentioned here, you can go to start, settings, update and security, activation. Once again, I'm not going to have any problems here. It says mine is activated. If you're not activated, it'll say right here to, to activate Windows. Just go ahead and follow the links. Should work. Now, activation troubleshooter. Do not discount, I've said this in many videos, the activation and any troubleshooter because Microsoft, this isn't like the old fix it. It is a database of known problems. If you have a problem that they can fix, they're going to fix it. So click on start settings. Once again, there'll be a troubleshoot in the lower right corner, which means it'll be over here. You can also find it with the Windows key plus S troubleshoot settings by searching. And once again, I don't have an activation troubleshooter showing up because I have an active copy of Windows. If you don't, that's where it'll be. Moving right along. Who numbered these things? One, two, four, three, five. Good job, Tim. One, two, I'll have to fix that later, huh? Or I'll be fixed by the time you see it, not that anybody notices. Command prompt, right here. Just type that in. That is the command prompt, command or PowerShell. Let's do Windows key plus X, and hit PowerShell. Just type that in and press enter. It will automatically attempt to activate and you will see product key activated successfully if it worked. In addition, if you want to change your product key, for example, you upgraded from Windows 10 Home to Pro and you bought a new key, slmgr space forward slash IPK space, and go ahead and type in your six digit, oh, no, not six digit, was it? I don't know, 20 or 30 numbers, whatever. Type that product key in and you're done. Now, you will see installed product key successfully, which means it was installed and it's validated. Last but not least, not that it's the worst option. I've called Microsoft before. If you've changed motherboard, video card, hard drive, Windows doesn't recognize your computer anymore. It's not the same computer, especially the motherboard. So you can actually type this in, which may not work here for me. Let me try it. It's the Windows key plus R. SLUI4. Yeah, it's not working for me now because I'm activated. As you can see, this is what's going to happen. So you're going to be asked for what country you're in, and then a toll free number will appear depending on your country. Call that number, a Microsoft person will answer and give them your installation ID. Kind of a pain there. But honestly, they'll give you a confirmation ID and you'll be all set. A lot of times, if you've changed your hardware so much, you have to call them and go look. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with my Windows 10. I don't want to activate. I put a new motherboard in. Microsoft will be like, oh, that's why. And they'll give you basically a reset so that your key is now valid and good to go. Don't discount calling Microsoft. It's not that bad. It sounds like it'd be a nightmare. It's really not. Now, when you're done, scroll down to the bottom here. Do not miss these. Maybe I can help you further. SLMGR, you saw we use this up here, right here. We have a guide here that tells you how to view, install, uninstall, activate, or even extend your Windows license. Transfer your license to another computer, which might be an option here. How about buying a cheap Windows 10 key? 
I've done it. You're looking at me right now running in Windows 10 on a cheap Windows key that I paid $3.99 for. Don't tell anybody. All right. Get your product key. Get your embedded key. Reactivate. Blah, blah, blah. Really, really cool stuff in here. I'm pretty proud of what we've written here. So go ahead. Maybe one of these guides here will help you out. I hope somewhere along the lines we helped you get activated. Thanks for watching, as always. See ya.